I wanted to talk to the clients who utilize pediatric home service today about the role of immunizations in the health of children. In the past uh, 50 years, vaccine preventable diseases have decreased by 90% through the utilization of uh, childhood vaccines. Unfortunately, there are still diseases out there that are vaccine preventable. And these include whooping cough, chicken pox, invasive Haemophilus influenzae, and influenza disease. Some individuals choose not to immunize their children because they feel it's unsafe or it's a risk. There has been false material provided that the MMR or measles, mumps, Bella vaccine causes autism, that is not true, that has been disproven, and without a doubt that vaccine is, with rare exception, very, very safe. People who elect not to utilize vaccines do so by placing their children at risk in the population. Fortunately, for most of those unimmunized children, the concept of herd immunity, where everyone around you is immunized against a certain disease, does help prevent those individuals who do not choose to become vaccinated. Unfortunately, a few of those children will acquire vaccine preventable diseases that can increase their morbidity, their chances for hospitalization, and at times, death. The American Academy of Pediatrics promotes uh, vaccines. There's a routine immunization schedule. Pediatric Home Service supports the American Academy of Pediatrics policy on childhood immunizations. Some children have underlying conditions which may predispose them to have special considerations for vaccines. For instance, the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine is a live but weakened viral vaccine. Some children with immunodeficiency syndrome should not receive that vaccine. I think it would be best for families to check with their physician or their health care providers before immunizing children, especially if they have concerns over the use of live vaccines in uh, causing problems for their children. Now that the school season is approaching, people start to congregate together in the schools and churches and other places, the risk for uh, infection increases. It would be a good time to consider reviewing your children's immunization schedules, make sure that they're up to date, and consider influenza vaccine for this winter.